Hello everybody, Scoopfish here, and welcome back to Digimon Lynx. Welcome to your event guide for Bloodline of the Dragon Emperor. Dragons, 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 that seems to be the theme lately, considering that they brought Volcanitramon back over the weekend as well, and I was actually pretty relieved to see that they are making that a thing to bring it back consistently, considering that I guess they do do it for the Japanese version as well, it would be expected when it comes to us, and... I think it makes more sense considering that's like the main Digimon of Lynx, you know, the Lynx specific Digimon. So it only makes sense for you to be able to grind one up to max. Not necessarily easy for anyone who isn't just maxed out already. So yeah, glad that they brought that back. Anyway, time to get into this event guide. Bloodline of the Dragon Emperor is going on from the 23rd to the 7th of next month. And the exchange will be open until the 14th of next month. This is a data bite event in which you're going to be grinding for bites to get fragments for Bakadramon and Slayer Dramon, two dragon type Digimon that are going to lead to Examon. But these guys are both Megas, so if you're wanting to settle with that, that's cool too. And I can't blame you with some awesome dragon type Digimon coming around. Now this event is featuring the bonus bites for clearing the stage in 5 rounds or less in expert or intense mode. And that'll definitely help you out if you can get that, considering the fact that we are grinding for 2 megas worth of fragments during this one. There's also the event chips to help out with those bites, but this time around, you're actually going to obtain an increased portion of bites according to the number of Digimon in your party that have relevant specialty chips. So they do kind of stack a little bit, and that's kind of cool. They don't, I believe, have not done that before, so interesting that they put that in there. There will also be an event up chip available in exchange for the next event because we're going to have a points event involving Examon, which is going to be the evolution after these guys. Kind of like we've done with some previous events to where we've done the uh, evolution, say Black War Greymon and Black Metal Garurumon. They were both the same way to where you grinded them and then you were able to get um, Omega Mon's War, I think it was. Ah, it's been a while. Anyway, if you're wanting Examon, make sure to be grabbing up enough bites to get those chips as well. Along with this event, we have a new Mega Festival capture, or should I say old Mega Festival capture. Alphamon has been brought back in the Mega Festival capture, which is pretty cool for anyone who didn't get him up last time. And this capture is going to be going on from the 23rd to the 7th as well. We also have Adversity Leader Skill Capture going on from the 23rd to the 7th. Not my favorite skill capture to really be bothering with, but you do have the ability to get two ultimates that are able to go along in the bloodline of the dragon, and that is Wingdramon and Groundramon. Groundramon is one that I haven't actually seen yet, and I believe is new to the game, whereas Wingdramon we've had. I could be wrong, but it's not really significant to anything. Now on to the event guide itself. So, easy mode is easy mode again. As expected, you were only facing champions in it, so there's really no point to even worry about it. In normal mode, you do face Break Dramon. Sorry, I did pronounce that wrong already once and I realized that now that I'm looking at it again. And that's because I'm I'm used to thinking about Baka Dramon and seeing Baka Dramon when I'm looking at Break Dramon for some reason. I, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, the names are similar and I got messed up. My bad. Break Dramon has the weaknesses of Glacier and Earth and rocks that through most of the event. But one thing that he has going for him and is a little bit of a pain is the fact that his move is actually a grass move or nature move and Glacier gets some damage from that. And you'll see why that's even more of a pain in the butt here in a second when we get into the later modes of the event. In hard mode, Break Dramon keeps the same weaknesses but doesn't really get anything else going on except for higher HP and attack and whatnot. So really not too much harder, just a little bit. And you guys shouldn't have too hard of a time with that as long as you're rocking the right resistances and the right weaknesses. Now expert mode is where it gets challenging because you are not only facing Break Dramon but Slayer Dramon. Along with that adding to the difficulty is the fact that you only have Glacier Weakness to focus on during this one and for the next one as well. And that goes for both Break Dramon and Slayer Dramon. The problem with that being that Glacier is weak to both Grass and Fire so it is a bit of a pain to face both of them unless you have the resistances necessary to take them on. 
Now, Intense Mode is actually a little bit easier in my opinion, though they are dishing out the same damage and you're going to have a hard time with the resistances if you don't have that going on. They do still have the weakness of Glacier. What makes this even easier though is that you only face Slayer Dramon and Break Dramon during this, which also makes it easier to possibly get that 5 rounds or less while facing them. Now because of their weaknesses and resistances, I'm going to have to say that I recommend Glacier through this, but you're going to want to have either resistances to nature or fire. Now the nature damage coming from Break Dramon is actually really insane and I consider that to be what you need to worry about the most. Slayer Dramon does hit you with a ton of damage from his attack, but when it comes to Break Dramon, he's hitting you so many times, it's one of those moves that it just dishes out more damage or has the ability to dish out more damage and get more criticals as well. But this is also a generous event, so hopefully with enough grind, you guys can go ahead and get all the fragments you need to get both Megas and be able to push at least one of them, if not get a third and push another one up to Examon when it comes to the next event. But that's what you guys will have to look forward to next video. So until then, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.